This is part one of the five part series on the quad lug components and we're going to start off with the motor arm lug. Uh, it has a receptor for your landing gear. Um, it's got a crossover or re reinforcement cross member here that ties the two um, motor arm lugs together on the front and the back. It also holds the body framing. Uh, motor arms are adjustable in 15 degree increments with the adjustable head. And uh, that is really unique also in that you can experiment uh, with uh, different angles. You can uh, set up uh, conventional. You can do your own setups. Um, I found that it really, really does influence the flying uh, uh, characteristics of the multi-rotor. So it gives you the option to do that and it's really, really uh, interesting to, to mess around with them. Uh, I'm finding that, uh, you know, I'm running 60 degrees in the front and 60 degrees in the back and by that I mean, you know, 60 degrees from the front back or if you go this way, you know, 30 degrees this way, is one of the most optimal or the best um, setups I've been finding with all of these as far as being very stable. But we'll get more into that toward the end of this series and, and uh, we'll get into that, in, uh, you know, in depth into that at that time. But uh, a little bit about this, you have a couple of holes to uh, prep. And one is going to be this one here. Let me get a little bit closer. This particular hole here, we're going to run this on through and um, this will be used whenever the deck uh, is mounted onto the frame. Um, there's another hole and uh, it's because of the molding process. It's in here and we use a, um, for this hole here, we're using a 1 16th inch bit. For this hole here, we'll be using a 964th bit, and this part of the adjustment head, uh, I use this to as a bit guide. It works very, very good. So if you put this in place and you put your bit through, it lines up real well, and you can drill through. And uh, as soon as you go through, stop. Uh, you don't want to get into this area too much. That's where the nut fits in, and. Uh, you know, if you deteriorate that, then it's not too good, I guess. It's not the end of the world, but it's not the best thing to do. Um, and then you'll have another hole to put in, and we use an eighth inch bit, and that's to uh, put the screw in to secure your landing uh, gear uh, whenever you put it on. And it usually goes, I normally put it in this area about three eighths of an inch up. Now in our build videos, we go. I go into that pretty in depth, and, and you know you can always revert to that to to um, you know get a little bit more uh, insight or, or a little bit more detail on that part of it. But you'll have uh, you know three holes to prep, and that's all you have to do on that. These are, and then it's ready to to you you know to start putting on the frame. These are made out of reinforced nylon, very very tough. Um, they're made to last. Um, unfortunately, we all have, you know, crashes or mishaps, as I call them. And, you know, I've had a few and I've never had a failure. Not to say it, it won't happen, but it's going to take quite a bit to, uh, to, uh, to tear these things up. And so it, the, they should be usable, you know, uh, for a very, very long time. So you can uh, use them on, on the original build or you can, you know, use them uh, on different builds as you, um, you know, uh, experiment with these things. Anyway, very good setup and it's very unique in that you can adjust the motor arms. So um, pretty much completes uh, part one. Um, and like I said, we'll get into more detail on um, the angle setting um, and, and how it affects the flying characteristics uh, toward the end of this series. We'll see you on the next one and, and we're going to go ahead on the uh, part two here. We're going to go ahead and go over all the other components that um, make up the frame. So uh, thanks a lot. Please subscribe and uh, 
We'll see you on part two. And thank you very, very much.